I remember looking at the Orion Nebula for the first time through my eyepiece and honestly, it was a bit disappointing experience. Just a faint colorless blob. But what if there was a device that completely changed that experience? Well, Pegasus Smart Eye is a device that helps you do that. It's one of the most recent innovations in the astrophotography world and it is looking promising. But there are some very serious concerns with it as well. And in this video, we'll talk about some of its features, its pros and cons. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about what it is. Well, the Pegasus Smart Art is a high tech eyepiece that you attach to a telescope. But instead of just looking through glass like a regular eyepiece, this one has built in computer, camera and screen. Think of it like turning your telescope into a smart device that shows you bright, colorful images of a space in real time. So instead of just uh, seeing a fuzzy dot through a regular eyepiece, the smart eye lets you see detailed, colorful space objects, even from light polluted skies. It transforms traditional viewing into a digitally enhanced experience. It uses a Sony IMX 533 CMOS sensor for high resolution imaging. IMX 533 is a pretty good sensor. This sensor is well regarded in the astrophotography world and it's got good low noise performance with good quantum efficiency as well. It also uses a 2560 to 2560 or LED or S display for direct viewing. This little eyepiece uses a two stage tech cooling as well to reduce noise uh, in the images. It's also got live stacking and, and image processing capabilities as well. But let's talk about some of its pros. Well, first up, ease of use. It's marketed as no experience needed device. It makes everything simple and easy and which eliminates the steep learning curve of traditional astrophotography. Another benefit is that it is an all-in-one device. It combines the camera, processor, display into one unit. It removes the need for external computers or softwares. You can just view everything and even enhance the image directly through the eyepiece. Also, this has good imaging capabilities. It uses live stacking and takes a photo every 10 seconds to improve the signal to noise ratio. It reveals faint deep sky objects like nebula and galaxies in vivid details. You can also save the images in lossless uh, fits format for post processing if you would like to do that. It also has inbuilt accelerometers and gyroscopes which uh, filter out vibrations for sharp image. Another plus is that this has a high quality display. It uses an OLE DOS screen, uh, which is uh, known for its high contrast and brightness. It also offers full color and red monochrome modes to preserve night vision. It has got 90 degree apparent field of view and 12 millimeter eye relief for immersive viewing. And lastly, smart features are cool. Sky Safari integration allows for object identification, plate solving and telescope control. You can use a guest viewing to share with others what you are observing. It can also function as a cooled astro camera through his ASCOM alpaca support. Now let's talk about some of his cons. Well, first up, heavy power demands make this not very portable. It requires USB-C power delivery of at least 30 watts and the cooling system itself draws up to four amps, which can overwhelm standard power banks. And if it doesn't have enough power, well, it, will, it wouldn't work, it would reboot and act not very stable. Another con is that, at least for now, it has software issues. So dark frames have issues. Some users have uh, found that smart eyes dark frame calibration sometimes uh, malfunctions. So actual image data like nebulosity disappears instead of just removing the noise. Another issue is the display limitations. Now there is some pixelation in the display. Pegasus Astro advertises that the display has 3500 PPI, which is much higher than an iPhone screen. 
But when you look through the eyepiece, many users uh, see pixelation, those tiny squares or grid-like patterns, especially on sharp or bright objects. Now, this happens because the display is less sharp than the human eye capability. So the image looks less crips than expected. Another con is that it has some ergonomic challenges. Now, I personally wear glasses, so I know that 12 millimeter eye relief is sometimes insufficient for people who, like me, use glasses. So it could be that you will find it difficult to see the full view, uh, full field of view. Finally, it's got a premium price. You can buy this for about 1,726 US dollars, which puts it in a high-end category. Having said all this, I think I love that Pegasus Smart Eye is a new innovation in the astrophotography and astronomy world. And this is the beginning of uh, this new kind of device. And I think we'll probably see more devices like this in the future. So good on Pegasus Astro for trailblazing the way for other astronomy product manufacturers. So tell me, what do you think of this? Are you going to get one of these? Uh, if not, why not? Let me know in the comments below.